Shay Jennifer Danette Dell and Shia Slogan Shlon and Shay Bin Bashes Chi, is a chili dash and shay toy at Lady Dash and Nala without any of the nest sudden shit. I introduce myself to you in a manner that is expected when I meet my relatives. I think it's a good idea for, for you to hear a bit of our language, the Nebuzad, as you prepare to steer, screen this film, Drunk Town's Finest. Drunk Town's Finest is filmed in the border town of Gallup, New Mexico, which lies just outside of the southern boundary of the Navajo Nation. In the 1980s, Gallup became nationally infamous when a journalist visited the town and took photographs and filmed Diné who walked its streets as unsheltered and drank its liquor in its bars and its alleys and its ditches. Payday lending stores, pawn stores, Indian trade stores also line Gallup's streets. Gallup has far too many liquor licenses and bars for a town of its size and its consumers are majority Navajo. It preys on Navajo and enriches itself at our expense. But this is not the story that filmmaker Sidney Freeman wants to tell. Rather, those stories, told too often, stories about our deaths, trauma, and grief, are told as part of the vanishing Indian's motif. Sidney wants to tell a different story, a story of hope, reconciliation, and acceptance, a story of how we value our traditional teachings resonates in modern film. When Diné watched this film, we share our stories about going to town. It's not often that we are seeing ourselves in film and not until now have we seen non-binary genders from a Diné perspective. Diné, Drunk Town's Finest is a Diné story about the boundaries we cross each day. It's a story about redemption at its heart is love for our own traditions and our care about relationships about care, which is our word for relationships. We are familiar with the stories of the of three characters, the Joni, which translates as beauty in our lineage, Sick Boy and Felicia, a trans woman. Their stories bring forth our own histories and experience under adversity. Their stories speak to our experience as, the, for, as indigenous peoples of this land. Najoni was adopted by white parents who, although raised their daughter in proximity to the Navajo people, never allow her to know who she is as Diné. Sick Boy was raised by a mother who can't find her way, and as a result, Sick Boy doesn't know his own relatives and has no positive masculine role models. Felicia is a trans woman who is rejected by her communities because of who she is. Wonderfully, Felicia's grandparents accept her for who she is because they remember the stories of our creation. Sydney's portrayal of a trans woman is for many an introduction to the net perspectives of her gender, the Nutle. The Nutle is a, a being associated with our creation story a story that our LGBTQI2 spirit reference as an indication that we once recognized third, fourth, and fifth genders. Felicia brings us face to face with the loss of our memory about multiple genders and the struggles she faces because we are no longer inclusive. Ultimately, stories remind us about the possibilities for remembering good relations. Good relations do not mean only human to human, but our relations to Mother Earth and living beings. The scene where Sick Boy's little sister is going through the Kinalda, our coming of age for women, brings the characters together. The Kinalda is based upon the ceremony conducted for a son of Tlebe, changing woman when she became a woman. The holy people, our deities, performed the first Kinalda for her. She is the mother of all Diné. Because of her birth and then the births of her twin sons, known as the hero twins, we regenerate as Diné. The hero twins were born to slay our monsters, to free us from our oppressions. Our modern day oppressions is wrought by colonialism. The stories we create remind us of our capacity to restore beauty. Freeland slays our monsters and offers space to share good relations.
it is quite a thing to see our indigenous and Tibet people in acting roles, and you may have seen them in other films about indigenous peoples and matters. Thank you to Professor Liza Black for inviting me to share my thoughts about Drunk Town's Finest. It is a film that my own students at the University of New Mexico appreciate. Enjoy. <laughs>